hi guys i really appreciate every single one of you you took your time out and you're watching this video it really means a lot to me guys really thank you so much and i'll make sure i'll put value in this video so that you don't have to hop around watching videos on top down analysis so i will include everything in this video what you need to know when it comes to top down analysis guys so let's get into the video guys so first thing first you need to know about the market structure which is very important let me make myself a little bit smaller here okay so when it comes to trading market structure is very 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 important guys so let's say market is making higher highs so you never try to sell it market makes the lower lows so you never try to buy you getting me so for an example if it is going up and up and up don't sell don't trade pullbacks just trade with the trend that is the best thing that you can do when it comes to trading okay so once price has shifted and now you can move your you know you can just shift your buys now you may can um go into the cells you can just um you know um uh, add confirmation to your sell side bias and that is the thing that you need to do when it comes to market structure so yeah okay let's get into the charts and uh, let me explain you with the charts we can go with the euro usd which is a very popular pair i did took this trade but my risk was was terrible i did took this trade i book like um i think like 400 dollars. i don't know anyway so we are not talking about that so we are talking about market structure okay first let's start how to point how to make higher highs and higher lows how to you know mark them so this was the higher this was the lower low in this case because it didn't made a high so this was the lower low and once it made the high now this is the higher high this was the higher low but we broke down so yeah so if you took a buy here maybe this was a break even day okay or maybe it was a you know small profit or something like that but let's just say we are just marking the structure right now this was the lower high and this is the lower low you just count the bodies lower low okay and then go on we did closed but we pulled back all the way up a little bit of consolidation we got up higher high then we just simply mark okay mark and so on the trick is that you always look for the pairs which are having the cleanest market structure possible like in this case for an example if you are not able to understand here you just move to your next pair okay move to any other asset you can just uh, move to next pair you know it's it's not gonna it's just gonna you know cost you money it's gonna result in a loss so it's better to just avoid it okay if you're seeing this type of market you just can avoid this just find the market which is trendy like this okay this resistance turning into support okay and this so on and this also you can add this resistance turning into support and this also might be something and then once we shifted the bias look at this aggressive push we pulled back and we kind of reject it from here then yeah again we got in a choppy zone so let's just not talk about it look at this price broke under the resistance how beautifully it retested okay now you can do this thing again and again for an example like price just broke above and look how beautifully it retested and then again price just you just move your box around price broke ab above it kind of must be retested here like this this okay look at this now it's shifting the market structure now you don't consider the previous one always consider the recent what whatever is happening price pull back just retested okay now this is the way you draw your market structure priced again close back pull back we have already discussed it you you just need the cleanest market structure possible like in this leg for example this leg this leg this leg now it got a little bit choppy here okay now we can discuss more for an example this was the push look at this price retested this okay you have to just find the cleanest market look at this beautiful market structure just find the cleanest market structure that's why i'm saying it again and again because it is very important thing guys i'm really really uh, we have to we have to find the cleanest market structure possible for for an example this just you know like this now here it got choppy okay 
so yeah man you just have to find the cleanest market structure possible i'm saying it again and again now let's just do it on the another you know asset class another pair okay for an example let's just go to the recent market structure because it was really clean look at this price just close below retested very clean market structure close below retested very clean you know just got above retested very clean market structure you know we also got above this was the this was the zone which is retested because we are still bullish so you always have to has to play pay uh very close attention to what the price is doing okay so again we draw you can just take a little bit of maybe cells around here it was a very you know tricky look at this candle so you, you can just skip it okay so yeah i'm just gonna do it again look at this this zone right here okay look market structure broke and how it retested you can easily plan your trades here let's see how much you know of a move we got yeah you can easily target this sort of area um you can just look for look for your entry pattern okay once we we got entry pattern around uh yeah this this area this was the new uh london session so you can just take your trades here stop loss can be decent tp can be decent okay always i try to look for at least near the 618 zone so my target is here yeah this is how you should go about the market structure thing now in market structure i hope you got it you just you just play around with the box and just try to find the cleanest market structure possible that's it no secret sauce here if you are if the spare is confusing you can just go to other asset class okay look at this this these cells was really easy okay price is close under look how it pulled back and now this this was your trade right here let's see only one hour yeah only one hour we did one retest second retest this was a trade right here at the uh london session stop loss could have been above your tp could have been just here at this sort of imbalance area okay so these are the things that you have to do when it comes to you know drawing your zones and uh, and just uh, you know trying to find the market structure now let's talk about how to enter okay so so let's say you have your mar daily market structure and daily market structure -ish was uh, let's say bearish and then it printed something like this so now it is bearish to bullish okay for example let's say like this so you just draw your zone like this okay once you go on the four hour your four hour might be looking like this okay like this for an example or maybe one hour or four hour i'm just saying so your four hour must be looking like this then you just simply go to your smaller time frame look for your pullback entry and look for your rejection patterns and then you can take your trade that is how you do your drop down analysis and you can also add few confluences like trend line or maybe some fibonacci you know you can always add confluences in your trade or the ema which i use okay you can add your ema ema must be like this so that's how you have to wait for every market every time frame to co-align with your bias for an example if you're buy if you're planning for a buy wait for the four hour to shift wait for the daily to shift wait for the one hour to shift then plan your trade wait for the 30 minute to shift right now i'm in a gold trade so let me explain you how i took this trade okay so if you go to the daily first daily is first okay look at this market structure is going bearish i'm not even careful um, i don't really care about this right now we are printing lower lows okay we print a lower low this is lower high i'm expecting potential lower low i don't know if if i'm gonna get that or not so i'm just you know, expecting that so there is always you know a kind of probability what the price can do so once price got here i was just waiting for a shift because four hour was bullish look at this it's printing high highs okay once we got the shift look at this price closed under we pulled back then i just waited for some rejection pattern which we did got look at this beautiful rejection patterns 
and then i just enter my trade here my stop loss is decent and my tp is here one to four oh look i'll just take one to three and i'll be happy yeah one to three but let's see if we get a one to four that will be really nice so this is the live example for you guys how to do top down analysis wait for every time frame to shift in your favor that is the most important thing that you need to do and uh, yeah just wait for a retests retests and yeah just take the trade on the rejection patterns that is it wait for every time frame to align if you just take two three trades a week this strategy is really the strategy will really work very well if you just wait for every time frame to align i promise you can really do good i don't really you know promote scalping i do scalping too but you know if you're a beginner i don't think so it is gonna be good for you so you just stick to market structure that is the most important thing just wait for every time frame to align in your favor and yeah that's it guys that's it pretty much it yeah that's it guys thank you for watching this video i'm gonna end this here hopefully you got some value from this take care guys